Hi everyone, I'm Poncho Rivas and this is the ore bot that I build and uh, sell at punchtech.com. I want to show you how easy it is to get started with your 3D printing and you'll be printing in just a few minutes. The first thing you want to do is go to punchtech.com to download the software. Once you're there, click on downloads. Down here at the bottom you'll see software. Click on that to download this file and then click run. This file that we're downloading will install all the software that you need for your printer. First it will install Repetier Host, which is the software you'll be using for all your prints. Inside of here you can rotate, scale, and add multiple parts to print. You can also add support structures automatically with the click of a button. It will also install the drivers and also there will be a start menu directory that's created that will have the firmware and the Adreno compiler. You don't need to worry about these now but as updates become available I'll be posting them on the website with more videos. All the STL files for all the parts that are printed on the, on the printer are also included and all the configuration files for both PLA and ABS are all pre-configured for you. Once the file is downloaded you may get a warning down here from Windows on the bottom and this is a security warning. Uh, nothing to worry about. There's no viruses in this. Um, click on run. This is extracting all the files. And uh, this is going to be installing the host software and we're going to choose English. And then click on next accept, next, 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 hit next again, and install. So we're not ready to uh, hold yet, and we'll click next on installing all of the Okay, so the installation to the host software is finished. We don't want to launch it just yet, so we'll uncheck this. Next, we'll be installing all these additional files that I mentioned earlier. We'll hit Next and Install. On this last window, we'll click Finish. Now, this is where it's installing the driver for the printer, and uh, you want to click on Install. Now we're finished with all the installation of the software. We can click OK here. The only assembly required is to put the spool holders on the back here, slide them in, and then tighten these bolts. And then put the caps back on. Next thing you want to do is start Repetier Host. Plug in your printer, connect the USB cable, and once you do that, you'll notice that Windows has de detected a new device. Go to Configure, Printer Settings, make sure that this COM port is on the COM port that Windows has told you it's connected to, and then hit OK, and then hit Connect. Next we're going to load the filament, and to do that we need to go to the Manual Control tab. First let me explain to you what these are for. This is to home the x-axis, the y-axis, the z-axis, and to home all of the axes. This will move the x-axis, this will move the y-axis, and this will move the z-axis up and down. Each one of these will incrementally move a greater distance in that particular direction. This here, while you're printing, you can speed the print up by just moving the slider. I usually print at about 180 percent. This is the portion we're going to use and here's where we turn on the heat for the extruder to preheat it. 
you'll notice that this light is on and I've got it set to 200. We'll be using this button here to load the filament and this is, can be used to unload the filament. Next we're going to load the filament. Now that the extruder is hot, we're ready to load the filament. And what you want to do is you want to put it inside the hole there and hit the down arrow button. And you'll notice that this bearing is going to start pulling out. You'll want to keep hitting the down button until you see the filament coming out of the nozzle. Let some of that purge out. And now we're ready to print. Next I'm going to show you how easy it is to print a part. So going back to the host software, we're going to go to the Object Placement tab. Down here we're going to add object. And we're actually going to add two objects. It's going to drop them down to the bed. We can scale them or rotate them here if we wish. And then we would just hit this slice button here. But since it's our first time, I'm going to go to the Slicer tab and make sure that I've got PLA because that's what I'm using selected. And then I'm going to hit Slice. And I can click on the Start. And that's it. It'll start printing once it's done slicing. It, for this part, it'll probably take about 30 seconds. The first layer is always printed a little bit slower so we get good adhesion to the bed. This is printing at about 300 millimeters per second, much faster than most of the other printers out there. This is a very rigid machine. All of the configuration settings for ABS and PLA are set up for me already in my configuration. If the object you're printing requires support structures, the host software will automatically generate these. These can be peeled off like Velcro once the object is finished printing. Once the part is finished printing, just peel it off. I'd like to show you how accurate this printer prints. It's just a shame that you can't see how beautiful of a print that is. But uh, this object here, I've got my calipers. Let me back up here a little bit. 
and I'm going to show you how accurate this thing prints. So this is supposed to be one inch. by one inch by half an inch and so you can see how good of a resolution this printer is able to achieve thank you for watching my video and I hope you'll enjoy my printer